Hello and welcome to another episode of Kings Reborn Desert Dwelling. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Hope you're having a great day. Check these out. Look at all these blue roofs. These are all, every one of these are all level 8 houses. And let me show you what I did to achieve this. So, we, you know, we've been importing all sorts of stuff. And uh, over here we needed some gems, but we couldn't quite re reach it with Wooddale. So I made a little, uh, little new colony, Gem Junction. And these guys are primarily just producing the gems. Uh, and once they produce the gems, we have the intercity logistics port here. Uh, not here. It's over on this side. And this guy is calling for all the gemstones from Gem Junction. So they import those. And then they bring them over here to the jeweler. And uh, currently not enough input, but it says it has uh, 52 out of 63. So we're currently waiting on a shipment to continue our production of the jeweler and that has helped us to have four tier three items so we have the pocket watch we have the chocolate we have the jeweler and we have books uh it looks like i'm gonna need to put in some more book creation things uh this chocolatier working down here is operational and is working with electricity i also needed more electricity so up here uh, i was having an abundance of coal in all of our my, my provinces my towns so i put in a bunch of coal power plants and now we're up to 500 kilowatts uh and so most of the stuff is running on electricity now which is great all faster it's better i i noticed also in the other towns like especially um goldsburg and ranchero where we have all sorts of you can see here all sorts of uh, ranches, there's leather abundance everywhere. So in addition to exporting it, uh, just with the trade guy here, uh, that's cool. That's another problem we're having. Uh, I'm bringing in leather to Desert Dwelling and we're making clothes like crazy everywhere. So uh, we also were having a storage problem. So that's another reason why I was exporting stuff. Like, yeah, you can see here, storage is full all over Goldsburg here. Exporting stone, exporting leather, uh, exporting bricks, and importing wood still. Yeah, so 15,000 leather here, 11,000 bricks, and 14,000 stone is why I'm exporting those goods. 25,000 food, plus 2,000 is pretty decent. And we got a good amount of clothes and magic mushrooms down here. Vodka's doing well, and so is pottery. So that's a little update on what's going on. Here, and uh, with the level 8 housing abundance... Ooh, that sound not good. What was that? We need more tools. Uh-oh. For what place? Wooddale, Goldsburg... Goldsburg's hurting on tools. That's not enough. Let's throw in another stone tool maker while we're here. Uh, in addition to having all those level 8 homes, we also got all of our decks completed look at all this it's all solid blue so now what we're doing with our extra tech points is uh going into the upgrades tree and we are just learning mostly industrial techs for now i'm well probably work on some other stuff here let's let's just earn these because we can we have enough techs to get those and i'm gonna do something with those in just a little bit here so we got our tools situation here is okay. Let's see. Chip Ranchero is okay. Goldsburg's at 14. This is where we just put that other one. Yep, they'll build that shortly. Wooddale's at 1. Uh-oh. So let's go here. Stone tool shop. I think I have another. I have one here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right here. But you, yeah, you can see that it's not that great. So we'll build that. So Wooddale was supposed to be the place with all the wood. And it's currently at 96, mostly because we're taking wood from Wooddale almost in all of our other towns. And also just importing it from the world. Lots of mushrooms there. Normal tools. You guys will get tools in just a little bit. I'll quick build that because we have no wood. And uh, it's kind of needed right now pretty badly. Well, if I don't have wood, I can't, uh, can't make tools, I guess, huh? So that means we'll need to import something and we can go here. Let's just do, t let's do steel tools. Because, why not? Uh, let's go with 500. And we'll upgrade. Uh, this is plus 60 goods per trade. And this does a quicker. Like normal. Pretty much. 
couple three. Okay, so let's go down to our desert dwelling. And uh, here we go. We got our desert dwelling spot. Let's exhibition hole. I thought it would be really cool to stick it down over here amidst all these homes that are, you know, huge. And uh, let's just put it in line, like somewhere like in here. And once we build that, um, we're not going for a wonder victory this time. So I'm not going to build all of them like we did in the previous playthrough. And this one, I, th I think there's a population win, but I'm not sure what the population needs to be in order to get that win. So I'm going to definitely put in some more houses once we get this little guy set up here. And this is a... This is just going to utilize some of those um, plants and stuff that we just unlocked in the tech stuff. I wanted to make a little nice area because I ha I've never really done that in this game. You know, I just throw down uh, as many homes and stuff as I can fit in. I don't try and make it nice. So I wanted to try and make this a little bit nicer here. Let's see what this does. Ooh, 100% appeal. So I'm going to stick these guys. Put you here. Put that there. And it doesn't really matter because of the wonder here, uh, as far as the appeal goes. But I just thought it that looks kind of cool. Oh, it looks like it's got stone roads. So that means you could, like, do an intersection with those. Oh, I really like that. That might be something I have to uh, think about and remember in future games, like I started to do with uh, the shrubberies. So let's go... Uh, Cypress Garden. I want a stone road across the top here, though. Of course. I'll make it as fancy as we can make it. And let's go... Corner. Let's go with this guy. And, uh, I'm going to just fill this in with a couple of these, um... Uh, Cypress Gardens and flower beds. And, uh, once I do that, I'll bring you back and we can look at it together. Hopefully the building is a little bit further along as well. All right, welcome back. We got uh, got some things built here. This nice little garden area around here. And we got some new houses coming up. These don't look the greatest quite yet, but they will pretty soon once we get some goods in there. We're just, just creating them all. This guy's almost finished. There we go. We got an upgrade. And there it is. We got the exhibition hall. Looks awesome. I, I like the little flowers and everything around here. Sweet. That's super great. I, I like this little idea. It was cool. I'm glad we did that. So we're going to continue to develop this little neighborhood that I just put in here. Uh, I'm going to work toward that population victory that I had mentioned. I'm, again, I'm not sure what, what that number is. And uh, I don't know, eventually we might just quit at like 2,500 or something. But I don't know if we'll get enough food to get that high, but we'll find out. So uh, an another thing that I was wondering is if you guys would be interested in uh, doing another playthrough series. So we did... The previous one we didn't have any like real challenges or anything like that but this one we did the desert i was curious if you guys would be interested in doing another maybe a regular game or maybe another challenge one if you have any ideas let me know in the comments uh, and then we can maybe do another playthrough and see what you guys think uh what's next for this guy like i said we'll just get some more goods in there i, I need a market of course and we're going to need Another thing which I totally forgot, which is the libraries. What libraries do is help you to have tech points. Tech points go quicker with libraries. Another thing we're going to need over here is tavern. So I'm going to need to remember to put those in this time. I had quite a few areas that didn't have any libraries. And this kind of stinks. Because I could be going, I could have been going quicker. But that is what it is. And uh, speaking of libraries, let's see if we can find one quick here. I used up all my uh, wild cards. There's a library right there. And, uh, yeah, it's not that big, but I, I jam cram and pack everything together, like all these. There's, like, really nowhere good for this. This could fit right in here. Maybe I'll do a second one. But, yeah, I just go over here. I miss all of these, and just not that great. So, don't forget about libraries, taverns, all sorts of things when you're building, planning your, um, your neighborhoods and homes. And here is the finished product. We got a bunch of level 8 houses surrounding our neat exhibition hall. And uh, that's going to be the, it for this little area, I think. Over on the left side here, we've got more home, homes coming in. That's where I'm going to continue to grow out this way, down south in this area. Maybe over here, too. I put in a bunch more mushroom stuff up here uh, to try and help out with the, the food that that's going to demand. 
we have a pretty good uh stockpile of food right now but uh, it's gonna gonna dwindle a little bit once we have more people we are importing a ton of food uh and that's why i'm continuing to gain food even though this says that i'm minus eight thousand because i'm not producing it i'm importing it so that, that's the difference there so if you uh enjoyed please let me know in the comments uh if you want to check out some other episodes i'll have a playlist that shows up shortly here and uh those are kings born check out the recommended as well thanks for coming and hanging out with me today i hope you have a great rest of your day and i hope to see you in the next episode